Hi, Martin. Hey, John, how are you? Good. I was beginning to fear that you would uh, thought the meeting started at 7. Okay. Well, we'll wait for the others to join in, okay? That's okay. Hey, John. So um, is there a reason why um, 7 o'clock would be the time they would dial in, you think? I don't know. Uh, I knew it was 5, so I started yeah. at 4.45 and Thank you. as long as 15 minutes of my life. Okay, excellent. So we'll wait, <laughs> I guess. Lord knows I need to find a barber in a hurry. Either that or a plastic surgeon with implants. Have you heard from uh, Ken or anyone else? I talked to Ken last night on the road back from uh, is four seasons. Okay. So no one about uh, this evening's meeting then? I'm assuming he knows about it. He indicated he's going to read his emails tonight or uh, when he got home. Okay. Did you see uh, Mike Lynn's uh, Email to you at about five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, because I just wanted to make sure that was included in your uh, agenda. Well, um, the deadline's at one p.m., so obviously that's not including my agenda. So well, let's put it this way: that's up to you and him. You know, you set the ground rules. I'm I'm not going to plead his case. Okay, we'll, we'll give these guys a few more minutes, okay? Okay. Okay, well, we'll call this meeting to order then, John, you and I. <laughs> okay. If you want, I can email Ken and probably remind him about it. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I mean, the meeting was posted correctly, so um, hopefully they uh, um, were able to see that. If not, something must be um, going on in their lives that they weren't able to dial in or zoom in, so. Okay. You've got my email, which indicates the areas I need to get covered. I saw Crystal's email about what she wanted covered. Uh, whether you want to include or exclude Michael Lynn, that's up to you. Do we have any others who have sent in any indication that they want something covered? I hey, just Ken. see. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Ken, hi. Hey, Martin. <laughs> hi, John and I are here waiting for you. 
<laughs> yeah, but we're speculating that you're sitting there in your skivvies. But that's why you don't have a picture on. No, I have the picture. No, not yours, Martin. Ah, uh, well, I, I prefer not to have that image in my mind right now. <laughs> Sorry. I got a new screensaver. I see that. Warner Brother. No, it's Warner Brother. Guys. Warner guys. Brother. Nice. Do Hi. we have Charlie joining? Um, I guess we'll wait for him to join, um, and then we'll, we'll start the meeting, okay? Okay. You got my message that I was going to be a few minutes later. I, I apologize. I, ho I hope you got. That's okay. Martin was a few minutes late, too. I clicked on 15 minutes early. It was the longest 15 minutes of my life. It's, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. No worry. But I do want to get it finished by 7 so I can watch the convention. What convention? Democrats. I'm kidding. I know. I, I know. I just, I, I have no headspace for anything right now. Well, I can understand that. It's kind of hard getting over the luxury of the Four Seasons. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see my res I think I, I responded. I uh, didn't. Right, to a couple, a I couple of those comments. Yeah. I, I said something cute. I don't remember what. But I love that line. I thought it was one of my best lines. When my wife told me we were going to be in the Four Seasons, I thought she meant at the Four Seasons. I thought that was a good line. What do I know? Well, you know, for years, I've had people try to talk me into renting a Winnebago or something. And I keep pointing out to them that my idea of camping is to pull a Winnebago onto the front lot of a Marriott or a Four Seasons and yeah. check in. Yep. I have a, a friend who's a professional songwriter for 40 some years, more than that, 50 years, uh, a kind of folk rock guy named David Buskin. He used to write songs for Peter, Paul and Mary, and he's been quite successful over the years. And he once had a group of guys with whom he sang uh, for a few years that, that they did comedy music. And one of his songs was Jews Don't Camp. <laughs> hey, hi guys, we'll go call this meeting to order. Okay. And, okay. I've often wondered about the affinity for, of Jews towards basketball. Most Jews I know are not tall, are not athletic, and have very little coordination. Yeah. You're self-excluded, uh, Martin. Okay, well, uh, so the agenda to be approved, it looks like no one really sent their background on time, so. Um, Wait a minute now, Char uh, I don't know about Charlie, but Ken and I have admitted to setting it on time. John, don't interrupt me, please. <laughs> I was just trying to say that, uh, there are a few Goodbye. Uh, Go ahead, Martin. We're teasing. I understand that. So um, there are a few motions that came in, but there was no background um, by the deadline. So a um, little bit of a problem there. However, uh, you know, that's it's tough for me at the you know last minute to pull that together. So Let's see how do we say that in the bylaws? You know what? Um, they CC the executive committee, so that's a good thing, right? So um, I think you all have seen what's coming in, um, knowing that I have to pull this together, you know, for our meeting and then get approved at our meeting to post so I think we can do it quickly and fairly casually uh, right as long as we you know approval is approval right it's just hard for me um Ken to pull together and then you know prepare it for us to talk about sure. Mar Martin I my sense is no none of us are going to object if you say you know here's here's how I'm putting it together and mm -hmm. then it's a yay or nay for us you know that's not going to be a big deal I mean, we'll have some discussion sometimes right. on certain issues, but but basically, I don't, I don't, you know, we're we're going to go downstream with what you right. do. 
Right. Well, you know, uh, the titles are one thing, right? That'd be helpful. So I'm, I understand what we're doing on our agenda. So I don't have to wait for uh, that surprise later on, you know? Sure. Martin, I don't know if you see it, but Charlie's on or in. Yeah. Charlie. Hey, Charlie. He's on mute. Yeah. He'll you know what, though? All I have are uh, uh, titles, not motions and background. So, as of now. Well, Martin, you'll have my motions tonight uh, yeah. before I go to sleep. Or maybe I should say early tomorrow morning before I go to sleep. And I think you've got sufficient in what I sent you in the email for background. Right, right. Well, you know what? Um, it, it, it's hard for me to uh, uh, get past the deadlines, right? Uh, Regardless, we have to um, have some kind of process in place, right? So to function as a board, the deadlines are deadlines. So it's approved by the executive committee as in the bylaws, which were um, updated. So just trying to play by the rules. And, and again, remember, Martin, this wasn't something that was just casually thought of by the bylaws committee. This was something that came out of Bonk. No, actually, you, uh, these were added to the, uh, the bylaws amended to uh, be approved by the board, along with Bonk's um, uh, opinion as well on their end. No, but I'm saying Bonk, if you remember the, the example that Bonk used in their form, right, they right. actually cited this particular amendment, and it's, it's a standard that they were asking. Right, for. but I'm just trying to make it work in process, that's all. I know. I, no, no, that's why I'm oh. saying... You know, we're think of think of the executive committee as a mere rubber stamp on this. From a practical point of view, it's it's going to be rare that there would ever be you know any any real controversy with uh, yeah. you know with an agenda. Well, the deadline's one p.m. on Monday. That's it. So okay, here we are. Well, the and only one because I had nothing. The only one that affects, I think, is Mike Lynn, and I don't think you're hearing anyone at this executive committee saying that if it came in at 4.58, you've got to add it to your agenda. Yeah, what, how, how thorough, let me, I didn't read this thing yet. I'm just looking at it now. His motion. Came out of public safety. I'm here, guys. I'm just finishing a phone call, so I, it's I'm, okay. I'm listening. Um, yeah, I'm trying I, to get my minutes done, but they're not done yet. So I'm trying to get them done tonight, but I don't know what's going to happen. You can't. You can't. Martin, for what it's worth, my read on Mike Lynn's motion is it's a BS motion that was prompted by Terry, uh, which will probably be approved by three or four neighborhood councils and will go nowhere and do nothing. So, you know. My whole problem is that we can't, we can't evaluate a motion without the background and everything um, you know, provided so we can talk about it now. That's where I'm a little bit like. Well, if you wanna, if you wanna say, you didn't meet the timeline. I don't see anyone on this executive committee who's going to fight you. Okay. Thank you, John. Appreciate that. The only question I have is, is there any other board member other than the ones we know about 
who you know want something on the the agenda that we don't know about. You know, if there's a burning issue, I might have a different feeling. Mm -hmm. Well, there's not. So, uh, you know, here we have it. So I guess I'll just uh, pull forward the uh, agenda without the background to um, not be approved, I guess. I'm not sure what I should do at this point, so. Well, I would say it depends on how much time we have, because you know there's going to be a bitter discussion about this if we have it. I have no qualms with it being on the agenda, because you know everyone knows the background at this point. You know about the 150 million, um, so I, I have no qualms with it being there if we have the time for that for for, for and and the stomach for a right. Bit Michael Lynn sent that at 12:59. Uh, Ken, that's way beyond our uh, our scope of. Uh, I have no qualms with that either. That's fine. If you if you want to say that, that's uh, next meeting then. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Like like John said, nobody's going to fight you on this. If if you want to, you know. Now, if you want if you wanted to accept it, make it the first item of the day. I'd fight you on that part of it. Because oh yeah, because we never get to anything else. Yeah. You mean we're going to hold city council to the standard of actually doing what they promised they're going to do? No, I, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Well, you know, okay, so um, we'll include John's four motion titles and Crystal's two motion titles, and um, I'll send it um, by seven this evening. And, <laughs> and Crystal's. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. You now, the only thing with mine, Martin, and I'm, I'm relying on Ken to verify whether I'm correct or not, that one motion for reconsideration, I think, has to go under old business. I got to read it. I'm sorry. Uh, where, where is, I just saw it a second ago. Okay. I don't think it matters. I think that's a stylistic question. In that case, I don't care. I'm not, I'm not that familiar with some yeah. of the intricacies of Robert's rules. So, no, it's. I mean, it's the type of motion is defined by Robert's rules. So yeah. it's a motion for reconsideration, and uh, you know, and and uh, but it can, you know, we can call it. It can be called new business. It can be called old business. It, it that's style. That I don't think it matters. Right. And I don't care. It's whatever uh, whatever you're basis. comfortable with, Martin. Well, the, the, you know, the bylaws say it has to be sent to the secretary. So, um, John, you alluded to that earlier in that, right? Well, I did send it to the secretary. I sent a copy to Charlie. Right. He's, he's, on, he's copied here. Yep. Charlie. Like to I did read the bylaws before I did it. Okay. I just want to make sure that we're, um, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're. Yeah. As long as it's brought by somebody who voted yes. Or no. The winning proposition was no, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, so you're asking you you so you voted no and you're and you're uh I'm in the consideration. Sure. Yeah. I think that's fair. Although I don't know if that requires of a, 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 a motion for reconsideration. I think that could simply be a new motion proposing the same old idea. I mean, you can vote on the same thing over and over again. Anyway, I, I think it works. Okay, the, other room, uh, the other thing is the, uh, you know, the open seat. We, we, you know, we have those, we have two yeah. member, two, uh, two applications and we have a third application that came in, but it came in after the deadline. Which is past the deadline, so. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we have, so those same two people that we had last month, uh, uh, Dina. Uh, Leeds. Dina Leeds and Bacheva um, Leader. We have the same two people. Okay, good, all right. Yeah. Okay, then. 
I'll, I'll reach out to them and suggest that they be at the meeting. Please do. That would be appreciated. Okay. The other thing is somebody should write to Olga. I, 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 yeah, that I was going to, but I wanted to talk before I did that because I didn't know if you had already. So just make sure that we um, are on the same page as, uh, you know. Yeah. Time. I mean, the, I think the message to her would be, uh, unfortunately, she was past the, you know, that the, uh, the application has to be within uh, no, no less than 10 days. So that was missed. But, uh, you know, in the event that we don't elect somebody or appoint somebody during this meeting, the seat would still be open. And if not, there will certainly be seats in the future. Right. Yeah. They're appointed so, now, but uh, next March through what June will um, elect. So, yeah. 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 So uh, if she wants to, uh, to, to take a stab at it again, uh, I'm sure that'll happen. That'll, that'll be a possibility. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Is there anything else? Charlie. Charlie is still on his call. Okay. All right. No problem. I think. Yeah, he is. Okay. Yeah. We bet we better uh, delay the meeting a little bit so that Charlie won't feel we had the meeting without him. We didn't. He was here. I know. He's he's looking at two of our smiling faces. I keep thinking why we should be looking at Martin's smiling face too. Well, you know, it's our loss. I know, because his nickname is Smiley. You know, Martin, what, did you, you had a bad haircut? I mean, what's going on here? He didn't look bad this afternoon when we talked to uh, the city council office. Okay. In fact, he just came back from a spa at Palm Springs. Nice. very much like what I did. Probably is hot. Ken, where were you over the weekend? I, I took, went with my family up to uh, Northern Cal to a, a state park with some redwoods and we camped. Um, if, if you would look at my Facebook uh, uh, feed, you'd see a picture of our campsite. Uh, John referred to it as the presidential suite. And, uh, and I joked, I said, uh, you know, my wife told me we'd be, um, we'd be spending a few days in the Four Seasons. And I thought she meant at the Four Seasons. So the picture of the uh, campsite is beautiful. And then we spent uh, Shabbat at, uh, at a beach town uh, in uh, near Monterey. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. We're, we're hearing there's um, some, um, yeah, we're, uh, holidays can be spent now with parks and what have you with, um, you know, Caretz's office. So I'm glad you guys get a chance to get away. Yeah. All socially distanced. Our next door neighbor was a, an astrophysicist. We sat around and spoke about uh, mapping the universe in 3D when the universe has more than 3D. <laughs> Okay, um, lovely. So um, I guess if- uh, Yeah, Charlie's not. Yeah. I'm sorry, I interrupted you, Martin. I apologize. You know, I, I was just gonna say, um, it, it's very hard to um, you know put together agendas and what have you if I don't have everything by a certain time period. And last minute isn't easier either. So to digest and um, you know explain certain things as motions um, you know, are, are therefore presented know that but we'll use the titles as uh as i said earlier ken or i'm um, sorry john's uh four and crystal's you know two and maybe uh charlie's minutes and that would be that works for me works for me also okay i appreciate that guys okay the only thing wrong with this zoom thing is we can't get martin treating us to some uh hors d'oeuvres at foo's palace doesn't bother me at all. Well, Foos is kosher, isn't it? Or semi-kosher? Over the Zoom, I think I think when you put it through the Zoom, it uh, koshers it. Well, I figured out the dimension to deal with that. We all order from Grubhub at the same time and it's delivered to respectively to each of our houses or apartments. It's fine with me. Who do I send the bill to? Martin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, by the way, 
Charlie um, had a couple of his uh, fraternity events at Foo's, so maybe he's missing it more than you and I are. <laughs> Okay. Not chiming in, Charlie, are you? No. Oh, no. Anyways, long story short, uh, guys, thanks for your time. I know it's, uh, it's a lot to ask every, you know, every month here, but I uh, just want to keep things going forward. So, uh, I'll be checking in from Dubai on the uh, next meeting. Thank God. Okay. Now, Martin, you got to pass this time because of the lateness of Mike's uh, email, but mm -hmm. I will expect in future meetings at least a token of, effort by you to put together a uh, agenda that we can flash on the screen from your computer. As long as they get it by one, it's good. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Thank you, John. All right, I, I will call it. <laughs> okay. okay, I guess Charlie will figure it out when it, his screen goes blank. Thanks, yep. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Have a good day, Martin.